believed in him for so long. Oh, this is too much. Remember what I told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little? You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. And because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in the spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though it said to my family, it was pretty much all about me. That only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared. But I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. But it turns out, all of that was for nothing. <laughs> You're just trying to make me feel better. Why does reality have to be so harsh? I tried so hard to fight my fear, and this is what I get. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. I mean, why my father and not hers? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? Huh, well you're just Mr. Perfect. Nothing ever phases you. And now you've got the nerve to try and tell me how to feel? You think you know me? You don't know anything! I'm sorry. My head's a mess. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm totally lost. Tell me. What should I do? You mean... keep believing? You know, you really are one of a kind. Oh, I'm sorry for acting like this. You've lost your parents too. But... I'm alright now. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Anyway, thanks for listening. Let me guess. Senpai asked you to bring me back, right? Ooh, you're such a gentleman. <laughs> Thanks. Hey! <sighs> Sheesh! What's taking you so long? Everybody's waiting. I'll be going to Yasugami High starting tomorrow. But I don't have any friends yet, so don't ignore me, alright? I do owe you my life, so... You know... Wow! I didn't realize you were so cool, Senpai. We're all done talking already. Let's go, Senpai! Uh... When did you get so chipper? Do you go to Yasugami like Senpai? I'll be starting school there tomorrow, so I hope we get along too. Huh? Oh. Cool. Hey, Senpai? Now that I'm getting the hang of school, I want to go out more and see the sights. But I tend to get recognized everywhere I go, so I'm a little nervous about going out on my own. And you seem like the type of guy who knows all the cool spots in town. <laughs> really? Woohoo!
don't have anything to talk about with you. It was just an argument. Thank you very much! You've heard the rumors, haven't you? About Mr. Kamoshida. Everyone says we're getting it on. But that's so not true. <laughs> that was him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. <sighs> you know what it means. <laughs> if I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. Uh, uh. I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, Shiho's my best friend. She's all I have left in that sorry excuse of a school. Tell me, what should I do? <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. I've barely even talked to you before. Huh? You're so weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. Are you really a bad person? I've heard people talking about you, but I just don't see it. Is that supposed to be a joke? I kinda had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. You're the same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. Is there really no way for me to help Shio? I wish he'd just change his mind. Like, forget about me and everything. As if something like that would ever happen. <laughs> I wasn't asking for a serious response. But I do feel a bit better now. I'm gonna head home. Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? I'll try and think of a way to persuade Komoshida. Well... Thanks.
Hey.
Well, if it isn't, Rise-chan. Um, you're the deputy mayor, right? Good afternoon. I heard the news. You know, about the upcoming film. Hmm? You haven't heard yet? You know Kanamine, right? Konami Mashita. They're gonna be filming nearby, right? I hope they stop by Inaba, too. Oh, I know. Why don't you ask? Kanamin. I don't have anything to do with them anymore. But wait. How many are coming? We only have small bed and breakfasts around here. Got it! They can stay at the Amagi Inn. All right. I need to go tell that manager guy I was just talking to. Oh, Risei-chan, nice to see you. Inoue-san, what do you want today? I'm down here scouting film locations, so I thought I'd come see you. I wanted to hear your answer one more time, face to face. Are you sure you're not coming back? <laughs> I... I'm not going back. <laughs> I see. Okay. I understand. Well, now I can focus on my new job. I signed up as Konami Mashita's manager. Remember how we were talking about doing that movie? They picked Konami as your replacement. We're gonna sell Konami. I have every confidence she'll be just as popular. No, even more popular than Rizet. I see. Although, Konami is an ordinary girl. We have to polish her so she sells. <sighs> but you had that spark. You learned fast, adapted well to new situations, had that smile that could be as strong or weak as you needed. And those acting skills of yours, you were like an old pro. You could have reached heights most girls could never dream of. Yeah, that's what I think anyway. So, I just had to hear it from your own mouth. Well then, goodbye. Stay healthy, okay? What the heck? That's not fair. After he made me answer? He never told me any of that when we were still working together. Acting skills? Of course I have them. What the heck? Telling me all that stuff now? It's too late! <laughs> hey, why am I crying? There's no reason to cry. There's nothing to be sad about. Nothing. Senpai, I... I don't know why I'm crying. I can't! My eyes will be all swollen tomorrow! I... I lost everything. I don't know how, but... I lost everything. I'm scared. I'm sad. What's going on? Senpai... Please... Stay here. Stay by... My side. Senpai... everything. There are people who need me, right? Hey!
Senpai's room? Seems quite clean for a boy of his age. Um... There doesn't seem to be anything lying around that he wouldn't want me to see. Now then, where could the goods in question be hiding? I'll ask the man himself. So, where do you hide them? I don't... I'm sorry. Um, it's not that I wanted to know. I, I just got kind of embarrassed, so... You meanie. Senpai, you're leaving in the spring, right? I've made up my mind about something. You see... <sighs> I'm thinking of going back into showbiz this spring. I am Rizad, after all. And when I consider it that way, I think I can have more fun working. I know how hard it is for a star to make a comeback after an entire year's absence. But even then, I want to start over from the beginning. Do you remember the fan who gave me that letter? I'll do her. For my old manager, Inoue-san. For my family, everyone. You. And for myself. Senpai, this... I want you to have it, Senpai. It's the one we took at school. I look really normal, don't I? But even then, I signed it Reset. A Reset without a fake smile. Senpai, I won't make the same mistake. There's no such thing as a me who isn't me. So I won't run away. I won't try to be someone I'm not. There's a lot of Rises inside me. I won't try to change them. Instead, I'll let people know that those Rises exist. That's the me I want to be. As you're watching me, I'll do my best. So, um... Well, I'm happy doing anything if you're there with me. Well... <laughs> oh, come on. I've confessed my love hundreds of times on TV. Why can't I do it in person? <sighs> I'm sure I can hang in there as long as you're watching me. Because... Um... You're special to me. No matter what I'm doing, I am me. I can say that for sure now. And the strength to say so, it was you who found it for me. I'm going to like the me you found. After all, I like the you who found her. Senpai, 
I love you. I love you. <sighs> Senpai, keep watching me, so I won't mess up again. Look at me. <sighs> um... Well, I... I've never gone through this kind of thing, so... Um... If we were on a TV set, this would be a wrap. So, uh... What am I supposed to do after this? Hmm? <laughs> got on here really quickly. <sighs> Back when I met Shiho, when she saved me, I realized that personal relationships are something to be treasured. That's why I'm not going to run away anymore. I'll face myself head on. This time, it's my turn to help someone. But I'm still kind of worried. Do you think you could help me? Mm-hmm. You can lean on me too, if you need it. Good. I feel like we finally see each other eye to eye. I'm so glad I met you. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the lovers, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right.
promise me that you'll stay by my side, okay? <laughs> Are you worried? Maybe it's more fitting for you to be chasing after me. Kidding. I wouldn't be able to handle that. To be honest, lately it's felt lonely just waiting for the next time I'll get to see you. Thank you for enjoying our Ferris wheel experience. The gondola will arrive at the platform shortly. Huh? It's over already? We went all the way around, but I didn't see any scenery. All I saw was you. <laughs> um, before we get off, sh should we at least do one thing, you know, that couples do? Yeah, there's only one thing that could be, huh? <laughs> should I close my eyes? Stay still. Shooting to kill! I'm gonna bust loose. <laughs> Losers. Like chopping? What? Kitty Here's your reward. Time for the big finale. 